This is usually the part of the show where I get a kid up out of the audience. She did in rehearsals this afternoon. <laughs> I was ready to cut the bit. Kids come up to me after every show and they say, hey, where did you learn magic? I think it's wrong to lie to children. I tell them the truth. I learned magic out of a book I got out of the library when I was a kid. So any of you kids who want to learn magic, get on the internet and Google the word library. <laughs> <laughs> when I fly out to a ship, I have to check a suitcase filled with juggling props at the airport. Sometimes that's difficult. Certain airports, they will unpack your check bags right in front of you to make sure you aren't checking anything dangerous. Well, when I juggle the bowling ball, it gets all sticky with apple juice. I was flying out of the airport one time. Out of my luggage, they pulled this bowling ball with this piece of rope stuck to it. <laughs> made it look like Wild E. Coyote was going to make a political statement. I'm going to show you guys some more difficult juggling now. I might mess up. I've noticed a lot of times the audience doesn't know what to do when a juggler drops. I'll tell you what to do. You ever watch figure skating on TV? See a skater jump and turn and fall. The whole crowd goes, oh. Let's try that on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Perfect. That's what you do if I mess up. And I probably will. Oh. Oh.
It is an ancient Chinese toy, hence the Spanish name. <laughs> I am a Diablo for 10 years before I brought it on stage. There's a reason why this right here is pretty much all that it does. <laughs> it's not a very impressive prop. I know one Diablo trick I'll show it to you right now. Not a great trick. Cute trick, not a great trick. There it is, my one Diablo <laughs> trick. See, cute, not a great trick, though. I was watching TV the other day. There was a little girl in a circus. She did two Diablos at the same time. That's a great trick. I thought I should steal that. <laughs> this is a trick I saw a kid doing on TV. Hopefully, I'll get it on the first try. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole trick. I don't know how to stop it. But I guess. Okay, that worked out pretty good. I think the lesson there, kids, try things that you see on television. That's how we learn new stuff. That's how I got into this business. When I was a kid, my parents let me stay up late every night and watch The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. There's young people here who aren't even sure who I'm talking about. Johnny Carson is the one who took over for Jack Parr. And he would always have comedians and variety acts on a show. I thought, when I grow up, that's what I want to be. This trick here predates The Tonight Show. It's called Cigar Box Manipulation. It was very popular around the turn of the century. Not the one we just had. <laughs> the one before that. Basically, uh -huh, you have to move fast. Because <laughs> if you move slow, the middle one falls out. Also very important, don't look at my face yeah. while I'm doing these tricks. <laughs> I can't smile and do this stuff at the same time. Tricks are going to get tougher now. Your, in your instincts to clap are correct. Thanks for going with those. I, I call this one reversing the polarity to dispel the magnet theory. Ah. Okay, now you're tougher. Off one end. Ooh! Whee. Off the other end. Ah! Under the right leg! Under the left leg! Under the right hey, hey. <laughs> head! Is anybody else tired? 